Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome back to Crash Landing. So, as you can see, there's been a little bit of change here. So I decided I would do a little bit of work in between episodes because it was just kind of boring work. But I cleaned up all of the dirt that was here for the garden, picked up the water source, I've got that in a clay bucket here. And uh, we are going to be trying to place that back down today. I also managed to get another chicken. So we now have two of those. But also I prepped for a few quests. So if we look in the quest book, we have this guy here, the blending ores. So uh, we now need to make the Invar blend, Tinker's alloy blend, and Electrum blend. I have all of the stuff for that. So, to make the Electrum Blend, we need silver and gold, and that's going to give us the Electrum Blend. For the Tinker's Alloy, we need copper and tin, and then for the Invar, we need iron and ferrous. Now, I did get a little bit more ferrous metal. That is a very good thing because we are going to actually need quite a bit of this Invar blend. But what I want to do now is cook some of this stuff while we, well, I guess we should check here, but show your work. This is going to need a little bit more stuff. We need the hardened portable tank and Invar shears. So we do need to cook some of this Invar right away. So, um, hmm. Let's actually change that to coal instead of sticks for a little bit, because, uh, yeah, we don't want to... I thought I grabbed coal. I grabbed charcoal? What is wrong with me? But yeah, I don't want to be wasting all of those sticks. I've noticed I've been having a little trouble not being able to click where I want to, but uh, no, we don't want to be making that. So we'll keep two pieces of our blend on us. That should cook up very nicely. And now we should be ready to do a little bit of something else in the meantime. So the metal dust. We needed to get this one done. We needed four of each of our regular ingots here. And uh, yeah, I have those. I actually have them in my inventory currently. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. So we get a hardened flux capacitor that is full of energy, and then we get to pick one of these. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to take this hardened energy cell, because energy storage is something that we want to have. So we're going to go ahead and place down this energy cell. Hmm, where to put it? I guess for now we'll put it right here, because that generator is not uh, being used really at all and that's another problem we are actually out of water in our fluid transposers but so next up and really I shouldn't be standing there there's lava over there so uh, next up we have this moving things around so well with your settlement getting more and more complicated it is time to set up the plumbing so we need to make a fluid duct opaque item duct opaque and a leadstone energy conduit now in order to make that uh, energy conduit we do need some glass so we are going to have to cook a little bit of glass grab a little of that let's see here how is our invar coming it's going to be just a little bit for that but for the others, we need a lead ingot and a copper on each side for the fluid ducts. And then we need a, not a silver, a tin. Where? Okay, apparently I did not grab the tin. There's the tin. So a tin on each side for the item ducts. So the last one is this energy conduit which we need a piece of glass two lead ingots and a little bit of redstone now thankfully we have quite a bit of redstone available so we'll get everything else ready here so we need that and some lead and then we need to put a piece of sand in here and perfect timing 
So uh, we have our Invar now, which that will allow us to continue on with the other. And we also need some glass for that uh, hardened portable tank. So let's go ahead and get this guy here. So there are our energy conduits. And with that, I think I am going to pull the charcoal out of these. And we're going to uh, drain the power on these survivalist generators. And then uh, we'll go ahead and go like this. So uh, we need one of these to be output. That one we can have be output. And now we are actually powering both gener or both fluid transposers with both generators. That's kind of nice. But so we do need a little bit more glass for the next quest. But let's go ahead and finish this one up. So this is going to give us a portable tank, an iron chest, or a leadstone flux capacitor. Well, this one is just copper and glass. Uh, this is eight iron. I'm not sure what the flux capacitor. I think I'm going to take the iron chest. Oh, it gives us all of them. I'm always getting confused on that. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and do that. So now the blending ores show your work. Hardened portable tank and invar shears. So let's go ahead and make these. So the invar shears are really easy. It's just two pieces of invar like that. These have 450 durability, which if we look at the shears, the regular Minecraft shears have 238. So we are almost double the durability. So they will last a lot longer, and we get to use uh, a non-iron ingot to make them. So that is kind of nice. But now the tank, and yeah, right here, the hardened portable tank. This one is just some lead or lead, copper, glass, and invar. So we could use this portable tank for that. I'd rather have more tanks because we're going to need them later on. So this will make the portable tank and then we just put an invar in each corner and that will make the hardened portable tank. So now that one's done. This is going to give us a bronze tool rod, an invar battle wrench, and some redstone conductance coils. And we don't have enough inventory space. So let's go ahead and drop off some ingots. We have some blends that need to be cooked. Oh, we have the iron chest now. So let's see here. Where? I suppose we'll put it there. So an iron chest is the size of a double chest in one space. But we can go a lot bigger than that. We have gold and diamond chests still coming. So that is, yeah, we're going to be able to do a lot of stuff with that. And actually, let's go ahead and drop these into that iron chest. Oh, and I forgot. We got this ender scythe when I killed the enderman that gave us the ender pearl for this vacuum hopper. And I didn't even notice it. And then I forgot about it later on. So, yeah. It's got a looting 5 on it, but really it's kind of pointless. We might melt it down, or I might see if we can disenchant it, but it's kind of pointless. But we're going to go ahead and claim this reward, and now we are getting to the point of where some stuff is going to be done. But this should, yes, this opened up under pressure. So under pressure, we start with exploding iron, and... Uh, this should say now that your immediate needs are taken care of, it is time to start building the technology you will need to survive here for the long term. To that end, you will need to form a new form of metal. Uh, next up, you will need some TNT. You should have plenty of gunpowder by now, and you can hammer gravel, cobblestone into gravel, and then hammer that to get the sand you need. So, yeah, we need to... We need to make some TNT. Not really looking forward to that, but before we do that, we need to redo our water supply. So I need to get out here and shear trees. So uh, one of the reasons that we 
need to get into uh, pneumatic craft is so that we don't have to be doing this anymore. I think I mentioned that in the last episode, but uh, in order to make uh, the harvester from Mine Factory Reloaded, which is exactly what we need to do this task, we need to be able to make some uh, control circuits to make the machine frames. Now, uh, those can only be made through pneumatic craft. So, but once we do finally get that built, we can set that machine to automatically shear leaves and we don't have to worry about this ever again. We will have an infinite amount of water all the time. So we'll go ahead and pick all of this stuff up and I suppose we'll cut down the trees while we're at it too. Oh, so we got reinforced on our hatchet too. Nice. And also I've been gathering a little bit of the apples from time to time and a couple oranges too. But uh, looks like we actually have an orange ripe right now. I want to go over there and get that. Uh, we don't have enough reach. So since I have to get up here anyway, I might as well grab a few more leaves. And those despawned already. So we got quite a few leaves from that, almost three stacks. That's nice. We'll go ahead and plant all of our saplings back. And I know I had uh, someone say, make a bed. I don't want to make a bed. That's one thing that I kind of set my own challenge on that. Uh, when we finally get to the cities, I may make a bed. But really, I don't want to make a bed. I want to have to deal with the knights. Yes, we have plenty of string and everything to do that. But I would prefer to deal with the knights. But let's go ahead and drop our leaves in here. Drop our sapling in there. We have an egg. Nice. Thank you, chickens. Got an apple, an orange, and an egg. There we go. So we're getting that stuff all squared away. The lava. Lava. Hot. Hot lava. Okay. So how is this going over here? It's going to be until next episode before these guys run out of power. And uh, we are almost half full on this energy cell already. Amazing. So now, <clears throat> we need to cook a whole bunch more iron because we are going to need tons of that. So what do we have here? We really don't have enough of this. Let's see, we've got a little bit of food stuff that we need to pull out. Uh, stone yeah okay well let's go ahead and move this stuff salt egg all right so we have 10 broken iron ore that's going to turn into two iron ore gravels we'll go ahead and place these two down smash them then we'll take and make those into sand smash them all right, so we have oh, one short, one short of being able to make an even number of them. Well, that was not what I wanted. Come on, give me another iron. That wasn't iron. That wasn't either. Neither was that. Come on. I need iron. What kind of... Not a single piece of iron. There we go. Okay, so now that gave us a, another broken iron ore. We'll go ahead and do that. Do this. Hey, okay, that gives us enough for those. So then we'll do this. Yeah, just over and over. 
Okay, so we will have one extra there. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. Uh, 16 plus 6, so 22 we should have. Uh, we've got one in here. That's not enough to... That's not enough to cover the charcoal completely. Well, or coal, but I guess that, that should be okay. If we lose one, that's not quite as bad. Okay, we do have this on us, uh, Tinkers. We have a bronze tool rod. Um, dust, we can drop off. We do have the glass. We have all the charcoal that we pulled out of there. Let's go ahead and drop off the Invar Battle Wrench over here. We'll put uh, the Ender Scythe in there. And I guess we have a couple of things here that we should probably move. No, I want my glowstone nooks. So I think basically anything thermal expansion tech related, we're going to put in this chest. So those go in there. I'll put the redstone stuff in there too. So there we go. We're getting a bunch of stuff in there. Okay. Okay, so, got some iron. I want to get a lot of iron, but we do need to make that TNT here. So, uh, is it, uh, I can never remember if it's four sand or five sand. Um, four sand, okay. Four sand, five gunpowder. Well, we have plenty of gunpowder. So let's go ahead and make this. And actually, will the tiny TNT work? I seem to remember that it does. Well, that's okay. We will make regular TNT. Then we need to make a flint and steel. So we'll go ahead and take care of this. Really? It's not shapeless here? Oh well. Okay, so we got our flint and steel, we've got our TNT, we have a little bit of iron in here, and then we have the other iron in the chest over here. So let's go ahead and grab that. We have 28. Hmm, I think we need almost an entire stack to make this work, and I guess we need to refill our water real quickly because, yeah, we are out of water in one camel pack and half empty on the other, and we want to go a little bit of distance away from the base to do this. Actually, we don't really need to. We can just go, there's a sand dune right off to the side here. So we'll go over here to this sand dune, and what we want to do is place down the TNT and actually I think the way that I'm gonna do this it must be raining or something so we'll place the TNT right here we're going to drop our precious iron on top of it yes I know well I guess before we do that let's check the quest book so we needed that so the third step I suggest doing a, going a little away from your base for this one. Dig a hole, drop the iron in it, place the TNT next to the iron, ignite the TNT, and then stand back. When the smoke clears, you should, you should see you now have some compressed iron. So we will lose a little bit of this iron, but let's go ahead and get this real quick because we're going to be having mobs spawning here very soon. Okay, so we made a big hole in the ground. And we got our compressed iron. We also got an aluminum ore dust. And let's quickly get out of the hole, back to the base, and hide inside for the night. All right. Well, just as we were running away, all the mobs started spawning. So that was perfect. So, um, yeah, the one zombie thinks he's going to come after us, but I'm not too concerned about that. 
So let's take a look at what the quest book says now. So we took care of all of that. We only needed to get one. We're going to get 16 as a reward. So let's go ahead and claim that reward. And next up, we will be working on some stuff from uh, whatever pneumatic craft. We have 38 compressed iron, which is really nice. But we are out of time for today. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on, be sure to leave that down in the comments, and I will see you next time. Bye!